Hey guys, welcome back to another ESGN pay-per-view prediction video for WWE's Money in the Bank pay-per-view live this Sunday on pay-per-view and on WWE Network. And as we're looking here, we're looking at the tag team match between the WWE Tag Team Champions, the Usos, Jimmy and Jay Uso, and they're going to be facing the, uh, well, the guard dogs of the Bray Wyatt uh, they are Luke Harper and R Eric Rowan, uh, part of the Wyatt family. And these two tag teams have been going at it for the last month now. And I honestly say it's time uh, for to see these two good, great tag teams go at it. Um, and as always, I'd like to know from you guys what you guys think is going to happen. Um this uh, live this on uh, this Sunday on uh, pay-per-view on the WWE Network at Money in the Bank uh, what kind of surprises do you think we're gonna have not just necessarily in, in this match but I, I would like to hear from you guys what you guys think is gonna happen in this match but also what's gonna happen uh, in the pay-per-view overall uh, and of course as always I like to give my prediction and, and the reason why and uh, right, actually, right now, as I'm thinking about it, I'm kind of looking at um, the uh, this past Raw. Uh, I'm really, really hoping and uh, liking the way how this is being set up right now uh, for the Wyatt family to, to uh, win this match. Now, the reason why I picked the Wyatt family is because I just have this uh, really good feeling that we're going to end up seeing a really... Um, great um, storyline that's going to involve the Wyatt family and the Usos and a new tag team uh, possibly coming to the WWE and that would be the Boys of the Ascension. Yes, I know you guys are probably thinking, what were you talking about? Do you, do you know something that we don't know about? But there's been a lot of rumors of late that there could be a possibility for the Ascension to appear on WWE TV. Uh, now I'm not gonna say that you know that it's gonna happen, but it's it's something I think that the way they've been teasing, um, you know, with a lot of you know the Wyatt family becoming possibly the new tag team champions, and just kind of re really re uh, reloading and re um, refurbishing the tag team division because. Uh, I've, and I've said this in other videos, the tag team division um, hasn't been, you know, as crazy or uh, just exciting uh, that has it been back, um, uh, I would say even, even I mean, before the, or after the um, Attitude Era, but even during the Attitude Era and afterwards, uh, the tag team division in WWE was one of the, uh, was one of my favorite things, I mean, uh, seeing a really good tag team storyline, uh, brought to, you know um, together and whatnot, having these four guys work with each other in the ring and, and putting on a really great show. Uh, we haven't seen that here in the last couple of years. Uh, we've seen a lot of tag teams that have been kind of thrown together, and kind of we're all kind of scratching our heads like, okay, what? what I mean, what? You know, why are these two teamed up for? Uh, but you got tag teams that have been recently just been thrown together and it's been working out very well. Uh, for instance. Uh, you got uh, Ry Axel, you got uh, Curtis Axel and Ryback uh, t teaming up, and they've become a really great tag team. Uh, you got R Truth and uh, Xavier Woods, uh, that's been um, heating up here as as of late. Uh, you had um, tag teams before, uh, and it was just 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 a couple years ago. Of course, now he's not lo no longer with the WWE anymore, as of this past week. Uh, you got. Um, uh, Kofi Kingston and Evan Bourne, who are a really great tag team, uh, Airborne, which uh, I, I I was so upset and, and kind of sad um, about seeing those two, uh, you know, uh, being dismantled and whatnot. Of course, there was a lot of things that led to that. Uh, of course, with Bourne being injured and whatnot. Uh, but you know, um, the tag team vision here, it, you know. And I would say in a lot, probably like two or three years ago, it was kind of just, it was kind of fading away. And I was, I was kind of one of those ones out there were saying, you know, if there's no tag team division, then why have, um, 
you know, a tag team title. Uh, especially when they brought these new tag team belts. Uh, when I first time I seen them, I thought they were like, well, man, those are giant pennies they got wearing around their waist. Uh, you know, what? You know, what's the point of having tag teams when we don't really have a um, guys that have uh, a def- decent tag team, um, you know, ability. You know, there's no uh, two guys that work as, in a tag team have something unique uh, about them, uh, and they know how to put on a great show and know. Um, you know the right spots and and, and whatnot, uh, and it just wasn't there wasn't the feeling that I had, um, and of course I had some other friends that were saying the same thing, uh, just two it was, you know about two or three years ago, uh, but now I'm gl- I'm glad to see that the tag team division is coming to re- revisit and it's going to make it even more better when the Ascension get called up and the question is is when I hope very soon, uh, especially with the Wyatt family holding on uh, to the titles, which that's the prediction I'm making. The White family are going to dethrone the Usos uh, this Sunday live on pay-per-view. Uh, I mean, don't get me wrong. I was so, I was, I'm telling you now, I was one of the ones that was so excited that the Usos won the titles uh, when uh, Road Dog and uh, Billy Gunn had them. Of course, I was, you know, I was really excited when they won it because uh, it's been 14 years since we've seen them in the WWE and especially wearing tag team gold. Um, yeah, I was kind of one of the ones that was like, you know, like cheering, but then deep down inside, I was like, no, I wanted the Usos to win. <laughs> so, um, you know, it, it happens. So, but, it, you know, the, uh, the Usos had a great run. And like I said, I hope they get another shot at the titles here. Um, you know, but it, you know, it's kind of time, you know, it's been what, a couple months now, uh, that they've had the titles now. And they've, they've actually had some pretty good, uh, you know, they went against the, uh, you know, right axle and um, oh man, I'm trying to think. Of, there was another tag team they were going against um, the you know the Shield and stuff like that. Um, you know, I, I think now it's time. It's a really good time to see them. Uh, you know, kind of now struggling just to get the titles back and um, and then you know Harper and Rowan. Um, you know, uh, you know, giving them a hard time and, and defeating them. Um, and whatnot in uh, the wake of trying to keep hold on to the tag team titles. Uh, so, but yeah, like I said, th- that's my prediction for this Sunday. Uh, of course, the Ascension thing. I'm just saying, I've that's been a lot. There's been a lot of buzz uh, on the internet about that. Uh, I'll try to see if I can find the link that I found the story about them. Um, I'll see if I can find that. I'll put it down there in the description. Um, but yeah, this Sunday it's gonna be a really nice uh, match, especially Money in the Bank. I kind of wish they would do a, uh, a, a kind of like a tag team version of Money in the Bank. Uh, you know, a, you know, tag team uh, wants to you know have a contract that's valid for one good year, and have a Money in the Bank. I mean, you could have you know Ryak, so you could have um, who else? Um, you know. Uh, our, our, you know, our truth and Xavier Woods. Uh, you could have the the Wyatt family, the Usos. Um, uh, who else? I mean, you could have. I mean, I know that's a lot of people, but I mean, you could do that. I mean, that'd be that'd be kind of like today's version of the kind of the TLC matches that we've seen with the Hardys and uh, you know Edge and Christian and um, the Dudleys. Which, matter of fact, I just watched that uh, TLC match. The first the uh, first one, uh, just on WWE uh, Network, just a couple of nights ago, it really just kind of uh, kind of took me back. Some just watching those matches and just the craziness that was going on, and uh, just the excitement and everything. Because I remember coming back, um, you know, that Monday morning to school and just kind of just, you know, hey, hey, did you guys see what happened? Blah blah blah. You know, just getting all crazy about it and whatnot, and. Uh, it just brought back some great memories of uh, watching that that TLC match, and especially the second one was at WrestleMania. Uh, was just, I mean, amazing. Just seeing, um, you know, Edge and Christian. I think believe they won it. I think they won the first both of them. Um, it was just, it was awesome just seeing that. So, uh, but let me know down in the description, guys. Uh, who do you guys think is going to win this match? Uh, and also give me some predictions of some other things that could happen. Um, 
I don't know, you never know. CM Punk may come back. I really doubt it, but hey, it'd be nice. So, oh, there you see the Usos. They end up uh, successfully uh, retaining the title. So, could that happen this Sunday live on pay per view? We have to stick around and find out a lot this Sunday on the pay per view. So, definitely check out the pay per view either way uh, on pay per view or on the WWE Network. Definitely check it out, you guys. It's going to be a great pay-per-view. Like I said, it's one of my favorites uh, pay-per-views of the year. Uh, besides the, uh, the big four, you know, Survivor, Survivor Series, Raw Rumble, um, SummerSlam, and WrestleMania. This is one of my favorites right here. Uh, my overall favorite, uh, I would have to say. My, probably my number one favorite because there's always craziness going on and whatnot. So, definitely give me your predictions, you guys. As always... Uh, look down below in the link. There's a link to our Facebook, Twitter, and Tumblr pages. Also in the description, there's links to uh, how you guys can uh, how you guys can watch WWE uh, Money in the Bank this Sunday. And uh, also give me your predictions down there in the in the uh, comment section. So as always, keep yourselves healthy, and I'll see you guys next time.